Push-up is the one exercise that I think everyone in the world is familiar with, and it mostly trains your chest, triceps, and front delts. And all of us had to do them at least once in our lifetime. For most of you, it was probably the B class. And since it's one of the most popular exercises, it's usually done with bad form. And in this video, I'm going to explain how to do this exercise correctly, and the most common mistakes that people make while doing push-ups. So here's the correct technique. Get into a high plank with your hands shoulder width apart and squeeze your core so it doesn't sag like this. It looks like this. And make sure to retract your scapula as well so it doesn't look like this, but it looks like this. And then just slowly lower yourself down to the ground until your chest touches the ground and push yourself back up until your arms are straight. But when you're pushing yourself back up, make sure to squeeze your chest and really feel the muscles working. Don't just mindlessly go through the motions. Doing push-ups is really that simple, but most people still, still do them wrong. <laughs> If you want to focus on your chest, then your hands should be in line with your chest. But if you want to focus on your triceps, then your hands should be further up, almost in line with your neck. If you want to see the most gains from push-ups, then you have to change your mindset. Instead of only thinking about how many reps you can do and constantly trying to do more reps, think about how you can get the most out of each push-up. Make sure to squeeze everything that you can out of each rep instead of constantly chasing a high rep count while sacrificing your form in the process. Of course, reps are a good way to track your progress, but if you're sacrificing your form just to get a high rep count, then it's not worth it. And another thing that you're gonna have to do if you want to see real growth from push-ups is you're gonna have to lower your ego. Because if you could do like 50 push-ups with bad form, when you start doing them correctly, you could maybe do 25. And the fact that you can't do as many reps as you could before is a really big hit to your ego. So just lower your ego and understand that your reps are gonna drop by like 50% when you start doing push-ups correctly. And I can't even count how many times I've seen people brag that they can do like 80 push-ups in a row. And when I see their push-up form, I'm not even surprised because they're not controlling the negative and they're not using full range of motion. So just don't be like them and use full range of motion and control the negative. That will make push-ups much harder, but your chest will grow much more. One of the most common mistakes that people make while doing push-ups is flaring out their elbows and you can see from above much better. My elbows are making the letter T with my body which means that I'm flaring them out. Instead your elbows should make an arrow with your body like this. They should be tucked in to avoid any unnecessary injuries. The second mistake that a lot of people make is not controlling the negative, just dive bombing to the ground in pursuit to get more reps. But when you're doing this you're skipping out on half of the rep and the negative part of any exercise is really important for muscle growth. So if you want to get the most out of your push-ups, control the negative. Don't let gravity just do all the work for you. The third mistake is not using full range of motion. And it's usually accompanied with the previous mistake, an uncontrolled negative. And I've made this mistake before as well, so don't think that I'm the perfect one. Not using full range of motion means not straightening your arms at the top or your elbow is not reaching a 90 degree angle at the bottom. I always like to go as low as possible until my chest touches the ground. But a push-up counts if your elbows reach at least a 90 degree angle at the bottom. So to get the most out of your push-ups, make sure to use full range of motion. If you want to make push-ups harder, then you have to increase the range of motion. And I like to do this by putting my feet on my bed and doing push-ups on two chairs. The goal is to go as low as possible, but at the same time, not injure yourself. So be careful. If you can't do one push-up with perfect form, then you shouldn't try to do more push-ups with bad form. Instead, you should try to choose an easier variation of push-ups. For example, knee push-ups, and they look like this. Get down on your knees and put your hands on the ground, shoulder width apart. And then just do push-ups. Make sure that your body from your knees to your shoulders is straight like this. Don't let your butt come out like this. And another easier variation of push-ups is incline push-ups. And they look like this. Find a surface that's higher off the ground. I'm using a bed. And just do push-ups on that. And remember, the higher the surface, the easier the push-ups. Most people like to think of push-ups as a beginner's exercise, but that's not the case at all. Because when the push-up is done right, it's one of the most beneficial exercises out there. And the thing that sets push-ups apart from any other exercise is that you can do them literally anywhere. All you need is the ground, and I'm pretty sure it's easy to find. I hope that this video helped you understand how to properly do push-ups, and I would really appreciate it if you left a like or even subscribe. And if this video didn't help you at all, then feel free to leave a dislike and comment down below what I should improve on. Have a great day, and remember, do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Peace.